comes out here on this day and makes this heartfelt plea because he is a Patriot. I thought it was the wrong time. I thought it was disrespectful to do that to John Cena here. So, ladies and gentlemen, as John Cena gets attended to uh, in the back, Natalia gets set for women's action here tonight live on Monday Night Raw. And her opponent, from Cleveland, Ohio, Dana Brooke! Now look who it is. It is the women's champion, Charlotte. Let's take you back to eight nights ago at Extreme Rules. Natalya versus Charlotte for the women's championship in a submission match. Now keep in mind, Ric Flair, Charlotte's dad, banned from ringside. If he even walked out into the arena, Charlotte would have to forfeit the title. We thought it was over with the sharpshooter, but then we thought Ric Flair actually entered the arena, but it wasn't Ric Flair, yeah. Byron. It was Dana Brooke. Yeah, the key word was thought. Dana Brooke apparently forming some sort of allegiance with Charlotte that would turn out to cost Natalya this opportunity to become women's champion. Yeah, Charlotte would take advantage with the figure eight and would get Natalya to tap out as Charlotte retains her women's championship for what she has held as of today, combined with the old Divas title, 252 straight days. So for Natalya tonight, John, a chance at a little bit of revenge against Dana Brooke. Absolutely, because it's Dana Brooke that distraction that calls Natalya the chance of being the champion. And this matchup as it gets underway is presented by Warcraft. Prepare for battle, Warcraft in theaters June 10th. You can see right there how bad Natalya wants to get her hands on Dana Brooke. A suplex by Natalia. With authority as Dana Brooke gets to the ropes too. And the referee's gonna have to pull Natalia off. Natalia thought she had that submission match in her hands. She, oh. she had trained, she had prepared properly. She had no idea Dana Brooke was getting involved. Yeah, but Dana Brooke has uh, now become uh, best buds with Charlotte. Yeah, that's not something to brag about. Oh, and a cheap slap by Charlotte. The official was dealing with Dana. Yeah, how about with uh, Ooh, Stephanie McMahon said earlier to Charlotte, calling her a selfish, self-important brat. Dana Brooke, highly athletic, cover hook of the leg and a kick out. Dana Brooke has a great athletic background. Uh, former oh, gymnast, bodybuilding champion. Oh, wow. Obviously, a former champion in her own right, looking for the sharpshooter here, trying to oh, step through. Charlotte. There's Charlotte, blasted off the apron by Natalia and Dana Brooke. Gonna take advantage of the distraction. And there's the power of Dana oh. Brooke. That Michinoku driver slamming Natalia to the mat. And Dana Brooke picks up the victory. Here's your winner, Dana Brooke. Yeah, it, just, it can't ever be a fair fight when Charlotte's involved. Yeah, apparently Dana Brooke and Charlotte not even done now. Referee, which Stephanie said earlier tonight. Charlotte, uh, Byron, in many people's minds, has been a disgraceful champion because of actions like this. Look, I think she's been a great champion. I disagree completely with what she did to her father and the legend, Ric Flair. But as far as a champion, Charlotte has been fantastic. Oh, and you agree with this? Double teaming Natalia after the match is over? For what? For what purpose here? Oh, well, it's about to stop, I can tell you that. The yeah, yeah. The self-proclaimed Irish last kick. Get in there, Becky. Becky Lynch finally driving Dana Brooke and Charlotte off. Oh, now they want no part of it. <laughs> Becky knows all about Charlotte and what that woman's capable of. The time is Goodness for Becky Lynch.